What's going on guys, Kaigu here, and in today's video, we're going to check out Fairy Wheel Cores, telling you my tier list, as well as why I picked them. Before I jump in the video, just want to remind you, my Discord just hit 900 people in it. It's got infographics, even the tier list that I have right now, and everything you could possibly want, as well as top tier players from all different servers. Let's jump into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so today we're doing the fairy will course. Uh, this is after the slaughter um, balancing to make it actually do what it says it does. Uh, did a bunch of testing in all different game modes, as well as all forms of PvP and all forms of PvE, including several, several, several miasmas, crystal battlefields, uncharted battlefields, what have you. So we're going to, above me is the... Uh, the tier list it's also going to be in my discord link down below and we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up so what i used for the images were the actual effects that pop up once it happens uh the only one that did not have one was uh nightmare and slaughter and uh, i used uh, generic images uh, this was actually done by a uh, buddy on the official Discord, Vibby. Uh, they screenshotted it, uh, blew it up a bit so that it could be a lot clearer. And I'm just going with it. So starting off in the C tier, we have Instinct. So if we check out, uh, come over here, find Instinct so I can read it off for you. I believe it's one of my, there we go. After releasing the dodge, generate, here let's put it on here, so I can just do it like this, and we can see it at max ranks. So after releasing the dodge kill, regenerate 17.4% of max HP in the following 4 seconds, and gain immunity to knockups and knockbacks with an 18 second cooldown. I gave this a super low ranking because... As you see, it has to be really high up there to even be a noticeable number. I think, really, it has to be 6 to even notice it, really. And generally, in PvP, you want to dodge into combat, where this heals you over time after combat has started is the kind of the game plan with it. Now, you kind of give up on the first heal, so I can see why some people might use it. Uh, there's a generation that might help you with increased healing, but I don't think there's really a place for instinct right now. Then we go into Mantra. So, let's check out Mantra. I believe that's also a gold. Rigidity... Instinct, Fierce Attack, Will, God Bless, Mantra. So, back out. Mantra, scroll up. After actively releasing any uh, Fire Flare skill, gain a stack of Mantra for 6 seconds. Each stack grants 14% attack and or defense. Each stack of mantra takes effect independently, stacking up to three times. So, why I had this in the B tier and not higher or lower is swapping your fairy teams has a cooldown. So, if we take a look, uh, I'm on this team right here. You see team four check mark. If I click team three, I am now on team three and using those fairies. But if I want to go back to team four, it has uh, about a five or six second cooldown, making it tough to kind of dance between your fairies uh, to keep mantra going. But for a quick burst, it can do okay because it gives a, a decent amount of percentage bonus. Going into our next one, if we take a look, that will be fighting will 
very well and I'm using licorice to show things fighting will so if we take a look fighting will is actually one of my personal favorites for PvE uh, normal attack or skill hits an enemy gain a stack of fighting will for four seconds each stack grants the character 2.7 percent damage up to five times when it's fully stacked 13 percent pierce rate with a one second cooldown that's because you have to stack it uh, so it's a very good uh, so fighting will right here and then the other one fierce attack uh, which is in the same tier here. Uh, fighting will is for your prolonged fights because you're going to ramp it up and keep it going. This excels very heavily in guild boss and other um, long combat type situations. There's also a generation, which we'll get into the generation tier list tomorrow, that works really well with this and actually ends up becoming a mainstay and a lot of my builds uh, because of how that generation works. So we get into Fierce Attack, which is the other one. Fighting Will, Fierce Attack. Uh, after a character's normal attack or skill hits enemies three times, so this ends up being your burst. Uh, you roll in or what have you, you uh, basic attack skill, basic attack, trigger, fierce attack is now on. Uh, deals additional damage equal to 21%, 21.5% uh, of target's current HP, no more than 145% of your attack towards the target hit and grants uh, you 57% percent damage bonus for the following five seconds now the issue here is i haven't been able to get a level 12 fierce attack to test it but what i want to see if uh you can go past 100 uh damage bonus and it just ends up being like i don't know 112 percent damage bonus with other multipliers in or if there's a cap at 100 um but I have this in the A tier. This is your burst option. This uh, ends up being very good in um, things like top league. It ends up being a very powerful uh, top league thing. As well as this pairs really well with our other A tier slaughter. Because this gives you the initial burst. The biggest issue with slaughter, which we'll talk about in just a second, is you have to get them down to 60% to trigger it. Fierce Attack is the fastest way to get someone under 60% because this is that initial burst. And if you bring them down to under 60% during those first 5 seconds, then your Slaughter Trigger is going to benefit from that 57% damage bonus. Now let's talk about the new Slaughter. Antra Fighting Will. I know I have, there we go. So slaughter down to level 12. When character causes damage to an enemy with lower than 60% HP, deal additional damage equal to 114.7% to 229.4% of attack, lower HP, more damage, and drastically reduces movement speed of target for a short while. You'll notice that as you scale it up, the cooldown goes down, which makes this one of the ones where you get way more out of maxing it than a lot of the other ones. A lot of the other ones, you notice their effects at plus four to plus six, even uh, some ten-ish, sorry, eight, uh, eight-ish, where this one, uh, I think ten is really where it breaks off because it starts at 15 seconds. And then at uh, plus three, it goes to 14. But then, you know, with the number 15, uh, 10 is kind of a break point because it's 15, 10, 5, 0. And that's the level 10 slaughter. 
and it caps out at level 12 with 8 second cooldown. Now this ends up being a good execute style. As I said in top league, it pairs really well with our last one. Uh, what it's not good in is something like guild boss. I've got this question a bunch of times. Uh, guild boss, when you're in the uh, barrier phase, you just want that consistent damage because during that uh, uh, shield phase, you can do infinite damage. Just do as much as you can. Once that timer is done and you start hitting the actual HP, even when you trigger the slaughter, this will do well for your personal damage. But for your guild damage, it means nothing because that red bar is a guaranteed fixed amount of HP where the bars are not and the bars, you won't get bonus damage from slaughter against those bars. Now, now we have God bless in the uh, S tier. Oh, fairies, wills, go to my girl. Rigidity, instinct, actually I think this one, here we go, it doesn't have to be orange to show you what it does. So here we go, when in battle, gain one stack, god bless, every four seconds, lasting for six seconds. Each stack grants character 5% block, 5% uh, tenacity, and 2.5% protection rate, stacks up to five times. When it reaches max stacks, tw effectively 20% damage reduction. This is also another one that I want to get a level 12 to see if that goes past. Uh, uh, I mean, how could it go past 100, right? Because if you get damage reduction to 100%, then you just minus 100% from their damage. Unless it's, if I have 112% uh, damage increase and you have a hundred percent damage reduction that I just do 12% damage it gets ridiculous once we get up to those numbers but this is your defensive uh, one and this one scores higher than the other two because damage reduction itself uh, scores higher in my book in a lot of uh, PvP situations you could uh, rate fighting will um, you could swap this in Fighting Will if you really, really wanted to uh, for more of a PvE focused thing. But uh, PvP ends up being the end game in a lot of these games as well as the new PvP game mode we know that's coming either in December or early next year. Uh, this is going to be a big deal there. It's also a, a very big deal when we talk about um, Uncharted Battlefield. Or crystal battlefield so in those game modes uh, even if you don't have an enemy to target you can just use skills or basic attack um, just as you're walking basic attack walk basic attack as long as you're doing that um, you know every at least every four seconds then you can always have God bless up and that means you can go into combat with God bless going on and top league you can have uh, three or four stacks starting the match with Top League, allowing you to come in and do your first skill or two, especially if you do a dodge uh, a dodge of one of their abilities, then you can instantly have God Bless up ready to go. Next one we're going to talk about is Nightmare. Uh, up and coming one. If you saw my Whale Hunter uh, video, you would know why. But let's get into Nightmare. I don't think this account might not have a Nightmare. Slaughter, Slaughter. Fighting Will. Uh, this account does not have a nightmare, it looks like. But I have done a lot of testing with it, Slaughter. No. So, Nightmare uh, increases the duration. I'm sorry, I don't have anything to show you right here. But I, I remember what it does. It gives you um, a percent duration bonus to your uh, debuffs. So, 
uh, what you call it, something like licorice right here, her stun, will get increased by nightmare. And the higher you have your nightmare, the bigger percent that it gets increased, as well as whenever you affect something with CC uh, of any kind, then you have a chance to trigger an attack buff. Uh, this is very important because it allows your DPS to spike, especially with something like Licorice, because if you uh, Licorice stuns them and then does six hits for a butt ton of damage, and then if you trigger that attack buff, her damage is based off of your attack, allowing uh, you to trigger that extra damage on that same skill. Same could be said for Primrose and um, Hydro. So last but not least, we're going to talk about one that you probably didn't think would even get mentioned, and that is Rigidity. Rigidity is my sleeper pick here, and that's you'll notice it once we sh look at this. After a character takes damage three times, gain a shield equal to 22% of max HP for six seconds, and damage reduction plus 36% for five seconds. So this ends up working in tandem with the uh, God Bless which was, I believe it was 27 that we said. So 63% uh, damage reduction during that during the rigidity time frame with a 30 second cooldown, as well as the 22% HP shield, you can, you can come in as a bow and be the main tank with a uh, level 12 rigidity and level 12 God bless, uh, especially with the bow has the strength of nature, cleanse and heal, uh, you can really be your frontline tank with these kinds of numbers, right? Uh, this gets even stupider if we talk about something like a sword user who is um, kind of meant to be the frontline. They get all the same benefits as well as bonuses to their base defensive stats. And once we talk about the generation that really goes with God bless, then it get then we're done when it comes to uh, was it left side sword uh, spec? It just which is uh, gladiator. Uh, it gets really really ridiculous. Uh, this won't do. This could also uh, if we end up getting raids in the future where it's effectively like uh, miasma. But a whole guild thing, like like guild boss, but actually hard, then this might end up being a thing for that. But this is primarily a PvP thing. Uh, PvP is mostly the end game, as I've said. If you're more of a PvE player, then slaughter will still be good. Um, fierce attack and fighting will uh, will be the main ones that you'll want for PvE. Uh, down below, will, W-I-L-L, -L, uh, will be the keyword to be entered into the next giveaway. And I've got some questions about the giveaways. Uh, about 24 hours, maybe 30 hours after the video goes live, I go through and I put all the names into a random generator and pick a winner. Then I pin their message to the top of the comments and reply to them of how to contact me and I give them that code. Till next time guys.